We did a, a, what we call a dynamic endoscopy. And so that's a new technology, like relatively new technology, um, that allows us to um, uh, look into the throat of the horses as they are running and see if there is any uh, obstruction or anything that would uh, decrease the airflow. The camera is at the end, at the tip of the tube, um, and it has some small LEDs lights to shine some light into the throat so we can see with the camera. And so the tube is uh, semi-flexible, so we can uh, uh, we insert the tube in the, in the nose uh, to the, 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 the right length, so at the level that we can see uh, the larynx, we call it, in the, in the middle of the throat. And so there is a, a small uh, chip on the, on the backpack, so it's constantly recording as the horse is going. And I also have a wireless transmission of a video, so um, we hold a, um, a display, uh, like a small TV, and we can see uh, what's going on in the throat live. Before we had this technology, we were guessing, we were saying, oh, the horse is not finishing well the race, making a little bit of noise. It could be this or that, let's do a surgery to fix it just in case. So these are, you know, surgeries are expensive, they are, you know, not without risk for anesthesia and things like that on horses. So now we can tell the drivers exactly what's going on so we can give better recommendations, more focused recommendations and treatments that are more successful. I've got an awesome horse and he's been quitting on me on the fourth corner there and I can't figure it out myself and uh, we feel pretty fortunate there's there's experts in the, in the field right here and we're, we're in, you know in Calgary. These are horizontal, you know, like, uh, I was relieved in the fact that now there's scientific knowledge showing me what is actually happening to the horse whereas it's all guesswork before and everything and there's no uh, he doesn't have any damage in his throat, in his larynx, or anything like that. It's just uh, it's it's more of a different problem that we can we can control rather than you know go a surgery route or anything like that. I think that's that's the beauty of this uh, partnership between the university and the private practitioners and the Stampede in the environment of the Stampede that allows really to improve the level of diagnostic and the level of care and focus, target better the treatments for these horses. We're very fortunate to be in this spot in Calgary for such a long time where where the specialists are and you can deal with them, you can have access to them and stuff, whereas if you're outside of that, that area, you don't have the access to that and, and you don't get the same treatment or the same, you know, anything from it. And uh, it's, just, it's just very lucky for us that we can stay here for this long with this kind of expertise on hand.